What it is, what it do. If you hear that mean you're here for volume two. What it is, it's your boy Same Ode and welcome to the Anhill. This is our second episode. I am so thankful and grateful for all of you guys' support. Y'all ran me up to 200 uh, plus views last episode, so I'm very, very grateful for that. So please make sure you like and then subscribe to the page uh, so I can monetize this thing and we can keep on keeping it rolling, you know what I'm saying? But um, this episode of The Ant Hill, what we will be talking about today is sneakers. you probably wondering why I got all these boxes lined up. I got about five of my favorite pairs of sneakers right here for y'all to show y'all a little bit later after I tell y'all um, who put me on like sneakers being a collectible type thing and actually taking care of your sneakers and everything and when I actually got my first pair of Jordans. All right. Um, first, we're going to start where, uh, where I got my first pair of Jordans. Okay, I got my first pair of Jordans, obviously, as a little baby. My mother, um, she was infatuated with Michael Jordan, bro. Like, my initials spell out air. I'm not going to give you the full government name, but the reason why she did that is because she loves Jordan. Air Jordan, you get it? So, my initials spelled air. She wanted to name me Michael, but my pops wasn't going for it, rightfully so. Yeah, but <clears throat> anyway, she bought me my first pair of J's, but which I hold on, which I am grateful for. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but like eventually around like six or seven years old, by that age, I was wearing a grown man size and it was too costly to keep on buying me J's. And I was growing out of them like that, like that, like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? So, in seventh grade, I met my, well, I met Ken in sixth grade, actually, but we became closer and better friends and around seventh grade and stuff, and he actually one who put me on sneakers. Like, around that time, we was playing uh, AAU basketball together. Um, we rode the same bus uh, a couple times, spent the night at his house, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just just doing what kids do, you know what I'm saying? And we were on Flight Club NY. Well, he was on it on his computer, and he was just looking at sneakers, looking at sneakers, looking at sneakers, and I'm looking at him looking at sneakers, and I'm like, yo, like, what's, what's so special about all these shoes? And then he broke it down to me, like, going through all the Jordans and some of the Nike Air Maxes and all of that stuff, like your usual stuff, uh, SBs. Uh, blazers, um, all of that type of stuff, and like s some of the background history, and then you know, eventually, I started doing studying on my own, and then it kept on going and going and going and going, and then by the time we was in high school, <clears throat> by the time we was in high school, things was like as far as the sneaker game, I was like full fledged in it. Like I'm not gonna say I was like having hundreds of pairs of sneakers at that time because I I didn't, but I knew my shit by that point because I also had a boy named Kel who I met in 10th grade and he also, he's from New York anyway, and he also loves sneakers, high fashion and all that and he's the one who put me on things like uh, all the different uh, models of New Balances, the Pumas, uh, designers like Sean Wortherspoon, Ronnie Fig, uh, you know what I'm saying, those guys in a6 and all that crazy stuff that some of y'all probably don't even know about like really a6 got some of the most expensive and hardest colorway colorways and models out there on the sneaker market and if you ask any sneakerhead they'll tell you i'm not capping like bro there's pairs of a6 out there for six seven hundred dollars like <clears throat> you know what i'm saying and they, they cold too like they cold. There's pairs of new balances out there, thousands of dollars. Y'all looking at them dad shoes? Yeah, bro, them dad shoes out there be like thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Um, and bro, like ever since then, I I done been keeping up with sneakers like crazy. I wouldn't say I'm a sneaker head, but I do have an appreciation for sneakers because I'm not gonna call absolutely crazy if. 
Okay, I just lied because I was about to say I won't go absolutely crazy if I miss on a sneaker. And I'm about to show y'all a video a little later on of me when I took an L on the Nike sneakers app. <laughs> and I, I can't even tell that lie. I will snap if I do miss the shoe. But, like, you know, once I miss it, probably, like, hours later, I'm not even tripping about it no more. Like, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's why I usually don't buy a lot of shoes uh, resale at resale prices because usually after after releases and I, I miss, it's just like, okay, well, what's coming next? Because there's always going to be another shoe that you want. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I can get my hands on that shoe at a decent price or a decent resale price, yeah, I'll go ahead and go do it. But like the Chunky Donkeys, when I missed on those, and nah, bro, nah, um, mm. I'll wait till my net worth way higher than what it is to be copping $2,000 pairs of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I were to cop them to the Dior's, oh, yeah, the <laughs> stock X. Expeditiously. Quickly, boy. I'm talking about running up a check on that ass. Is you crazy, boy? At the time when they released, people was paying like $20,000 for them. But even still now, they worth like, in my size, about $9,000. $9,000. If I if I'd have hit and still sold them for nine thousand dollars, I'm up seven bands. Like, yeah, I I would have sold them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what I'm gonna do now is uh answer some of the questions that y'all had from the Ant Hill Productions Instagram page that y'all asked me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll go through that. I'll give y'all my top five shoes and things like that. So let's just go ahead and get right up into it. What it is, it ain't nothing but to do it. So first question is, what shoes do you got? <laughs> well, I'm glad that I just put all my shoes into the portfolio on StockX because it kept helped me keep track of what I actually had and everything instead of doing it in my head like, oh, da, 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 da. like I said, bro, I only got 22 shoes. Um. And on this list, I'll keep out my top five, so it'll leave a little bit of suspense looking at for y'all later on in the show to see what is exactly in these five boxes right here. You know what I'm saying? So first on the list, uh, we have the Nike Air Max 270 React ENG Travis Scott Cactus Trails. Uh, yeah, I pay a pretty penny for that shoe. That is by far the most I have ever paid for a shoe. I'm not going to tell y'all how much I paid for that shoe, but it was definitely resale price. And, uh, yeah, that was, I, I ran up a check for that daggone shoe. But as it, and the crazy thing is, I don't understand how it resold for so much because I, I kid you not, bro. Like when these shoes got announced, everybody was like, oh, them things is ugly. The only reason y'all like them is because y'all like Travis Scott. Yeah, I like Travis Scott, but I'm not a super fan. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to have everything Travis Scott. No, I actually like that damn shoe. And everybody was like, oh, this shit is ugly. Oh, it's ugly. And I, at comments on Sneaker News, on Sneaker Bar Detroit, on uh, Z Sneakerhead, all, Drops by Leo, all that. They they was slandering on, on Preem Profits, all that. You know what I'm talking about? They was like, oh, these, these shoes are trash. Next thing you know, everybody bought them up and they resold for like five, six hundred dollars $600. You know what I'm saying? So next up after that, uh, I have the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Beluga 2.0. Yeah, when I copped that, that was by far my most comfortable shoe. Yes, I, I wear that constantly. Like that is my probably my most worn shoe in my collection. Um, just it it molds to your foot perfectly, and it feels like bro, you're walking on pillows. I can't even lie. Like Kanye made a good ass shoe with adidas like yes they are really like that uh next after that uh we have the jordan one retro high dark mocha yeah everybody wanted those because they uh a lot of us took l's on that uh travis scott one high top and low top um the crazy thing is i actually won on the travis scott sixes but i ended up selling those on StockX because i just i need money at the time and I, I just never wore them. It, when I saw them in person, I wanted to keep them, but at the same time, I was like, eh, eh, eh. 
I, I'm, I'm trying to get another shoe anyway. So I, I went ahead and uh, sold those on StockX. But yeah, the dark mocha uh, ones, yeah, that that's a beautiful shoe. I got that right before I took a trip to Cali. Uh, next up is our Jordan 4 Retro White Cement uh, 2016 edition with the uh, Nike Air on the back. Such a wonderful classic. Ooh, yeah. When you just look at the shoe, it just make you want to light up. You know what I'm saying? It just give you shimmers down your back. Like, it's that beautiful of a shoe. You know what I'm saying? And it barely just missed my top five. I can't even lie. Like, that shoe was a classic. Um, Coming up after that, the, the Adidas NMD Human Races Pharrell Billionaire Boys Club edition. Yeah. Um, When me and my uh, boys, the same ones, we went up to New York, uh, take care of some things uh we was out in brooklyn and this one dude had them on and i was like damn that shoe is fly and i had already been looking at human races and i was like dang i kind of want a pair and that, that. but it, that that shoe i i like uh you got three different colors going across it i believe it's navy blue no actually four colors across it navy blue red white and a henna yellow and yeah yeah whenever i usually wear my adidas joggers it's either those or the um easy so next up after that um i believe is the jordan one retro high black metallic gold patent leather yeah that is probably one of two shoes that i will wear with this suit you know what i'm saying because it's a patent leather shoe like it honestly looks like a dress shoe from afar like a nike dress shoe but it's not it's a it's a nike air jordan shoe and that and the uh, Dior ones, yeah, the the, the Dior ones, they, those getting worn to the wedding or or wherever, you know what I'm saying? Because th them things they cost too much money, you know what I'm saying? I ain't ain't no way it ain't happening. <laughs> I, so those are the only two that I would wear with a suit. Uh, next up is Jordan 14 Retro University Gold, but you might know them as the Reverse Ferraris. When the Ferrari 14s first came out. My homeboy Kel had them, and I, oh, I wasn't necessarily hating on him, but I was sick that I didn't have them. You know what I'm saying? Like that I passed on that shoe because Kel wears like what an eight and a half, nine, but I, I can't do nothing with that. I, I wear a size 13, so I was sick that I I passed up on the possibility to, to get them. You know what I'm saying? And Kel was like, bro, this shoe going to be hard, bro. I'm telling you, bro, that suede, that red suede is going to make it go crazy. And I was just like, eh, I'm not even, eh, 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 eh. And then it, it ended up popping. Them shoes went crazy. And now I'm stuck with the lesser version. And I usually hoop in those, but it's still a nice shoe, nonetheless. Uh, after that, I got the Nike KDA Hunt Pearl. Um, a lot of people usually use the KD8 to hoop in, but I like that KD8. Um, I support the whole on Pearl thing. Um, with the best, the fight against breast cancer. Um, that shoe is a tribute to KD's aunt Pearl, who um I believe passed away from breast cancer, and it, it was just unfortunate. But that he he made a beautiful shoe in her honor. I would definitely say that. Um, the KD4 on Pearl is what made that addition of that shoe, like definitely pop and become one of the most, uh, anticipated KDs of each of his models. If you get what I'm saying. Um, next up after that, we have the Jordan one mid special edition fearless blue, the great, uh, blue, the great is a street designer. Um, well, excuse me, a street artist, um, and he designed some shoes for Jordan Brand, and he did a mid one. And you know, everybody in the sneaker community loves the dog mids and talk shit about mids, but bro, honestly, bro, don't let if you're trying to get in the sneaker game, bro, don't let nobody dictate uh, and tell you what the fuck you should wear just because they're a damn hype beast. Okay, you wear whatever the fuck you want to wear when the fuck you want to wear. It, okay, that's just that, that. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, um, after that, you got the Adidas Stan Smith Bait Happy 20. I mean, Happy 420, excuse me. Um, Bait is like a skate shop, um, and they also sell clothes and other sneakers as well. But 
they're primarily known for their uh, uh, clothing and uh, uh, kind of being a skate shop in a sense. And um, I'm a I'm a smoker, and this was this was a shoe that I had to have. Uh, I I can't even lie when I when I finally got I paid resale for those as well, but the resale wasn't that bad. But I, I had to have that shoe. That that shoe was nice. It it has a pocket on the inside of the tongue, and it has a like a little funny prescription on the uh tongue of the the actual tongue of the shoe so it's pretty dope um next up is nike a air vapor max plus paris works in progress um with that shoe they gave um people a chance to design many air maxes around the world and they chose this one designer from paris uh that uh did a wonderful job on the nike air vapor max plus and I liked it. It was like a gold, I mean, excuse me, a silver kind of gray, kind of platinum kind of ordeal. And, and it was dope to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, next up is the Nike Vapor Street off-white polarized blue women's shoe. But they did it extended to male sizes. Um, It kind of looks like a track shoe. Matter, not kind of. Matter of fact, it is a track shoe. But um, if you look on my Instagram page, you can see them. I'm standing in front of a Pepsi machine um, with uh, Jeff Gordon gear on. And I like the shoe. It's pretty dope to me. I thought it was cool. Uh, after that is um, the Reebok Insta Pump Fury Packer Shoes Times at most uh, Dor Dorimon. I hope I said that right. I, I feel like I said it terribly. But y'all know the... Y'all know the anime with the uh blue uh cat, yeah. That's what that shoe is inspired by. It's a Reebok pump, low top. Uh, it, it's hard. It's got like fur all over it, bro. It's dope to me, bro. I actually need to pull them out the uh, closet because I haven't worn them in a minute. Uh, next up is the Jordan Seven Retro Hair Edition 2015. Uh, yeah, those are some beaters that I have. Those are like five out of ten, five point five at, at, at the most. Pass them off is six out of ten. But yeah, they some beaters in it, but it, it's still a decent shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you can wear that walking up, walking to the store. You know what I'm saying? It's not that bad. Next up is the Nike Cortez Fly Leather Steve Harrington Earth Day Edition. Um, I like the Cortez. Uh, it it's 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 just a simple shoe, but it's so much you can do with the Cortez. You can wear it with pants. You can wear it with shorts. You know what I'm saying? You can wear them to skate. You can wear them to just rock. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a nice shoe. And what they did with that shoe was, um, I believe, 50% of it was made from, like, recycled products and things like that. So it, it helped out the earth in a sense. And you know what I'm saying? Like it was actually a, a um, how can I put this? An environmentally friendly shoe. There we go. Uh, after that. Uh, the Nike Classic Cortez Stranger Things Independence Day Edition, the all red ones. Yeah, uh, yeah, those shits was dope, bro. That, that's a nice all red shoe. Um, you know, uh, it, it's just a decent, a nice all red shoe. Uh, after that, I had the Nike Cortez 1972 Shoe Dog Speedy Pejerine. Um, yeah, that was a old, 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 like one of the first models of the Cortezes to release that uh people got to see. And um, it, it it has like a little pull tab on the back, like unlike all the other Cortezes, it's it's a dope shoe to me. My homeboys joke around and say it look like a bowling shoe and shit, cause I got long ass feet. I wear size thirteen. I don't know what people accept. Expect I'm six foot one. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to have like a size seven or some shit, but yeah, they they love to judge me about those. So. <laughs> Those are all the shoes that I got besides my top five that I'll give y'all in a second. Um, and that question was from my homeboy's uh, brother, Bo underscore Browning. Y'all go ahead and get that boy a follow. Uh, good luck uh, in your football career, Bo. Uh, after this, we got, what is this? Lift, run, boy. Lift, run, Bo, Inc. Okay. There we go. Is there a gold standard for socks to not stay in the inside of your shoe? <sighs> I can't even cap to you, bro. 
Nah. Nah. It, it's it's really not, bro. Uh, uh, unless some, somebody else got some tips for me and, and my homie Wyatt, bro, nah. They, they, I ain't got nothing for you because, bro, the, 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 the socks be staying the inside of my shoes as well. Um, usually I try to not wear the same socks too often, you know, not wear colored socks with white shoes because that's usually what does it, um, especially if the inside of the lining is white. I'll just go ahead and wear white socks. I don't care. I wear white socks with black shoes. Yes, I don't care. I'll be out there like Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. Rest in peace to Mike, though, for sure. But um, yeah, bro. I, I I don't have no answers for you. Like I'm really out here like sway. I don't have the answers. I don't. Not for that question. And then next up was your favorite pair that I own and. The favorite pair that I don't own. So with this one, I'll go ahead and give y'all my top five shoes, as you can see right here. But um, I'll also tell y'all um, a couple of pairs of shoes that I wish I definitely did own. So first up, um, we have is one of my uh, top fives. This is in no order because I I just can't give y'all order. I I love all these shoes right here. But this one is uh, as you can see the box kind of beat up. But this is a uh, OVO tense, the black version. Um, yeah, this was this was one of my favorite pickups because my homeboy Kel actually helped me get that shoe. So Kel thought um like I was like a like damn near crackhead with the weed. Nah, he didn't really think that, but he was like, I bet you can't go a month without smoking. And I was like, okay, what's the bet? He was like, if you um win the bet or whatever, uh I got to get you a pair of shoes. If if I win, then you got to buy a pair of shoes. So you already know me. I ain't losing no bets. I ain't going to lie. I hate giving up money. I ain't going to lie. I'm stingy with the shit at the same time. But um, so Kel actually ended up buying the white cement uh, fours that came out that same day. These were in a raffle. And then um, he told me to go ahead and enter. This is when we was in college and shit. And um. We was just chilling at the house. He was wa we was watching TV or some shit. Ended up falling asleep on the couch. He woke me up and said, uh, go ahead and check your phone and go ahead and see if you want. So I wake up. I'm like, man, I know damn well I ain't went. Oh, sh Oh, sh I won. He was like, you won? He was like, let's go. Let's fucking go. And the cow jumping around at me. He like, yeah, yeah. What I told you, nigga. What I told And Kel was more hyped than me that I won the damn shoe. And I was like, damn, my nigga Kel a real ass friend because this nigga is more hyped than I am that I won the shoe. He he act, he don't wear no size 12, 13. He, nigga, <laughs> he don't even care, but he happy that I won the shoe. So they, they, every time I look at this shoe, like I, I think about that moment with Kel and like that that showed me a lot about Kel and like how much he cares and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that boy Kel and I also appreciate that boy Ken, uh both of them for putting me on the shoe game and things like that. Uh so um after that, oh we boy, we got a classic right here. Um uh, this one should be in a lot of like sneaker collectors or sneaker heads that most people call them um collection um this is the bread four. Oh yeah the bread four um this shoe it it it, it speaks for itself man like if you know what Jordan was doing in these fours you you, you know why we love this shoe man like Bro, the breads are just beautiful. Like the the way the black accents, the red with the smoke gray, and the henna white right there. And this edition had the Nike Air on the back, so it it was a definite cop for me. Like I was not missing out on this shoe for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think a few of us actually had a shoe, as far as my friend group go, because that's just it's just a classic, bro. Um. Whew. Yeah, this one right here is um this might be some people's grails. Um, shout out to that boy Scotty Pippen, and shout out to that boy Brody Miller. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is 
My bad, y'all. This is the Dorn Becker Up Tempo by Brody Miller. So what every year what Nike does is they give children with um who are ill at the Dorn Becker Children's Hospital and um they allow them to design shoes and much of the proceeds from these shoes go to various researches for the diseases that these children may have, whether it be cancer or like a lung disease or whatever it may be. So when buying a shoe is double sweet because it's you usually at least one of these shoes out of the out of the pack is like on everybody's watch list, but it's also a hard shoe. Usually um, it'll say A-I-R across here, but it says B-P-M. Um, I believe that should be for Brody Miller. I'm not sure what his middle name is, but I'm thinking I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, yeah, you can see uh, it's a crazy shoe, bro. But uh, I love these. I actually haven't worn these in a minute either, but it's it's in my top five because I pulled the trigger on the resale for those as well. Uh, after ooh, ooh, now I talk a whole lot of shit about sneakers, but this is honestly one that I won on the sneakers app. Uh, shout out to my boy Michael for in, in, entering the raffle for me and hitting on these. Uh, because bro, I, I hardly ever hit on the sneakers app, and a lot of times, um, what I usually do is have numerous people enter and I still take L's. So don't don't think that I'm always out here um hitting on sneakers. Like sometimes I actually do take fucking L's. I take a whole lot of damn L's more than I take dub. But this was a nice fucking dub. Okay. The, this right here, the Union Fours, yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yeah I, I got my hands on these. This shoe right here is so fucking beautiful, bro, with the tongue stitched down. Some people unstitch it and lift it up so you can see the union and the jump, man. Nah, I want you to see the Air Jordan inside the tongue. I loose lace it so that this can be a little bit loose. Uh, the buttercream bottom with the black suede and the black... <laughs> <clears throat> Boy, this shoe right here, this shoe right here, it, I was doing some when I was when I was out in LA in my kilt. I was habitually stepping with these on. I don't give a fuck what a hater say. And I was breaking everybody necks up in LAX. They're like, "Damn, this is a black nigga with a kilt with the Union Fours on." Oh my goodness, look at his feet. Yeah, that, that, that was me. If you saw me out in LAX with the kilt on. Oh shit, my bad, y'all. Hold on, hold on. All right, and then another shoe that y'all saw last week on the show on that fit is hard as shit was a shoe that I wanted all year was the J Balvin uh, one. Like um, this shoe, bro, I, I had to have this shoe. And the crazy thing is with this shoe, it took like two and a half weeks for me to finally get this damn shoe. And I was losing my mind, going fucking crazy, calling laser ship, calling Nike, like where the fuck my shoe at? No, nah, bro, no, nah, bro, that's like a that shoe worth like seven hundred dollars, bro. I need my damn shoe. No, nah, fuck that, bro. Give me my damn shoe, and bro, I I just really wanted my shoe. I, I'm sorry for all the people I cursed out for get to get me my shoe, bro. I, I'm sorry, I really am. I'm not that bad of a guy. I was just being an asshole, and I'm sorry. But um. With that being said, that is my top five. Now, let me uh, tell y'all about a couple shoes that I wish I could have gotten my hands on. So, number one on that list would have to be the New Balance 550s. Bro, that shoe is so beautiful. It's a New Balance basketball shoe. It's a low top. That thing is so hard, bro. That thing is so hard. They released like four pairs with uh um I believe that was Emmy uh Delor 
Um, I believe the designer's name is, and he got his hands on four of the pairs in the vault. And yeah, that that they they talking about releasing like another twelve colorways of that five fifty. I need me a pair. I need me a pair of those five fifties. No cap. No cap. Um, another shoe that I definitely need is the Great Fives with the Nike Air on the back. <sighs> if any of y'all have watched Fresh Prince, you know that is a staple of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air uh show. Like the fives with no laces. I, I but I need a pair of great fives with the Nike Air on the back. The Nike Air in the teal color. Oh my god, stop fucking playing. Stop fucking playing. That, that shoe is legit. That is a that is a classic shoe. Like that I and it's crazy because it's not a usual Jordan colorway. Like, you know what I'm saying? Usually they stick to like black, white, red, gray colors, you know what I'm saying? Like with the with the first editions, usually. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they didn't have other colorways, but that's what they usually did. But with their great five, oh yeah, they, they hit it. They hit it hard. Even though it's a predominantly white shoe, it has accents of like a a a, a seafoam green and, and 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 a purple. You know what I'm saying? So it really comes together. And third and finally, I probably have to say the Kobe Grinches. Oh my gosh, bro. When them things was re releasing this year, was that last year around Christmas? Well, it was around, it was recently when they just re released. Uh, rest in peace to my boy Kobe. But, oh, uh, that, yeah. You know, resale prices are crazy online. Kobe's now ever since him and his daughter, Gigi's passing. And rest in peace to um, the rest of those um, people involved in the crash. Uh, that was just devastating. I remember getting the news from that, and I, I was crying in my room, bro, when I finally got home. Like, just devastated. So, yeah, that but the Kobe Grinches, that was a Christmas edition shoe, and I missed on that. Oh, uh, bad. Bad. Oh, my gosh, I missed on that bad. Um, Another shoe that I could have had, and I was being hard-headed. One year, my dad went and did security at the All-Star game when it was in Orlando, and that was 2012, I believe, when the All-Star game galaxy pack came out and you had the galaxy phones the lebrons the kobe's the kd's all that whole pack i wish i could have that that whole pack i wish i could have no lie no lie because my dad was right there on the court like while they was practicing and stuff and i ain't gonna lie I, i'd have been bold kobe can i get a pair of them kobe's coming out that, that this all-star weekend bro i know you got the pool player please hey brian brian come help a kid out i know you love the kids player come on now yeah, hook, hook me up with a pair of the big bangs you know what i'm saying but yeah i fumbled the bag i ended up not going because i want to stay up here and chill with my friends and shit and do dumb shit so but yeah um so what we're going to do here is right here, we're going to watch a little video of me taking L on the sneakers app, if you know what I'm saying. All right. Yeah, it is Rue today. Um, you already know the uh, 1985 neutral gray ones is releasing. So as you can see on my phone, I done closed out every, every app. I got from the open up sneakers. Well, cause yeah, I, I, I'm about to show y'all how pissed off I often get trying to get on sneakers and get me some sneakers. But we we gonna see today if we hit on sneakers today. All right, you, you see them, them beautiful ones. I know my phone cracked up, but then the ones we going after today. So I'm, I'm online. Y'all see that? Y'all see that up there in the corner? I don't know if y'all can see it clearly, but it say 958. It say 958 in the corner. Come on, come on, big money, big money. Watch it pop up, sold out. Watch it pop up, sold out. Watch it pop up, sold out. I'm gonna be so fucking mad if it pop up, sold out. I'm beating somebody's ass. Let's go, come on. Come on, damn, but that's a long ass two minutes, boy. I got one minute left, come on. 
One minute, one minute. Shoes, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, here we go. 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 Come on. Come on. Submit payment. Come on. Come on. As you can see a brother in line, what? Come on. Come on. Come on, big money, big money. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I feel it today. Come on. Please, please, today. Please let the day be the day. Please let the day be the day. I am one since the Balvins came out. But come on. I got in there in, in less than 10 seconds. I got in there in less than 10 seconds, bro. Come on. Ain't, 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 ain't no way. Ain't no way. Not today. Not today. Ain't no way. Not today. Not today. No, no. Come on. Come on. I, I know it's a pending. Come on. Come on. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. I be, I be still say pending. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Papa need a brand new pair of shoes, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Give it, give it to me. If it, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll be, I'll be right back. Hold on. Ooh, what? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's been two minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. By 10 on 5, boy, that's a wrap, boy. I'm on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. But ain't no fucking way.
Man, I took a fucking L, man. Fuck sneakers, man. Fuck Nike. It's some old bullshit, bro. Every fucking time, bro. Every fucking time, bro. I get on this fuck ass app, bro. And this fucking app cheat me, bro. I already know, bro. I ain't got, I ain't got the fucking shoe, bro. Cause it's been four minutes and it's still pending, bro. Why is that, bro? Why is that, bro? Block protection, my fucking ass, bro. Y'all fucking full of fucking shit, bro. How the fuck this even happened, bro? Every fucking time. Every fucking time, bro. Every what I say, every fucking time. Every fucking time, bro. God. Fucking damn. That's some fucking bullshit. So, as y'all can see, I'm, I'm very pissed off that I took that L on the sneakers app okay like i'm i'm fucking livid i'm i'm losing my shit right there okay i can't even lie to you like i'm acting an ass about that shit okay here's where we finna jump into the segment of ants rants okay let, let me get my mic right so y'all can really feel me on this sneakers app fuck y'all i wake up consistently bro Every, like, like, do y'all, like, just feel like fucking ruining my day every fucking release day? Like, seriously. And then y'all give me a little glimmer of hope by letting me hit once every, every three years. And then I'll be like, you know what? I can hit again. I can hit again. I can hit again. Bitch, and I don't never hit. That shit is fucking impossible without a bot. And y'all swear that sneakers that gives bot protection, but it's fucking bullshit. You know it's fucking bullshit. I'm done with y'all shit. Y'all got me so fucked up. I'm a <clears throat> Bro, this shit don't make no sense. I wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning. Every fucking release date. And I fucking take an L. Every fucking time. And it makes no fucking sense to me. But y'all don't give a shit, do y'all? Y'all don't give a shit, do y'all? Y'all don't give a shit. All y'all give a shit about is whether that shit sells out or not. And y'all swear up and down that y'all gonna do bot protection so that the little man can win. And y'all don't do a fuck thing. Y'all don't do a fuck thing. Y'all don't do shit. Y'all don't do a fuck thing. And it pisses me off. It makes me crazy. And I don't even hate the resale game. But damn, if you gonna sit up here and say you gonna do something, then fucking do it. it <laughs> like, bro. Do, do you understand, bro? And then I'm finna move to the West Coast, so I'm gonna have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning just to take these L's. Nigga, I ain't even had a cup of coffee yet, and I'm taking an L. Like, like what's going on, bro? I ain't, I only hit on one draw, and it wasn't even on my phone. It was on my homie Michael phone. No, my bad. I hit on two draws, because I hit on Travis Scott Sixes. But fuck that. My point is, I only hit on one draw myself and one on another person's phone. Because that's only because they didn't want the fucking shoe. What the fuck, Nike? I fuck with y'all the long way, bro. I spend a lot of money up at that bitch, bro. What the fuck, bro? All, all these shoes right here is Nike Air Jordans or Nikes in my top five right here, bro. What? Like, bro, can, can I get a little glimmer of hope, bro? I ain't got no SB Dunks because I can't hit on the fucking sneakers app and it's pissing me off. It's, it's irking me, B. It's irking me, G. I lose sleep over this shit. I lose sleep over this shit. Do y'all give a fuck at Nike? No. No, y'all don't even care. I just want one pair of fucking SBs, bro. I just I just be wanting one pair of the fucking shoe, bro. I don't even want to be two, three pairs of this fucking shoe. I just want one. Help a brother out, please. So, please. If anybody from Nike see this shit, please. I'm a nice guy. Help a brother out. Please. Please. So, I, 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 I don't know. Like, but but please don't please don't X me out the raffles just because y'all seen this video, please. Please, I was just bullshitting. I promise I was just bullshitting. I, I was just talking shit. I was just running my mouth. I, sh I should have shut up anyway, huh? But please, please don't ask me out the raffle. You know what I mean? Y'all know y'all fuck with me. 
Come on now, y'all know y'all fuck with me. But uh, next, that's the end of my rant. Nike, I still got love for y'all the long way. But fix the app, yo. Please, come on now. I need to hit on something. I need to hit on something. Um. Oh, next up is that fit is hard as shit. So this week on it, this fit is hard as shit. Um, I have two uh cool guys that I know, and they also gonna to be the topic of um a little black magic their business, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it and give y'all some of the background on their business and what they do. So one of these guys, um, I met through the other one. So I know both of them because uh they both did the sneaker thing on in Jacksonville in the clothes thing and usually people who who step in know other people who step in who know other people who step in. And I I I, I can't even lie to you, bro. First first up, bro. First up, bro, this man right here, bro, now, he, he a living legend, bro, and, and, and he go by um, the name of Eddie, bro, and I'm going to go ahead and give y'all his Instagram handle right here uh, um, in a second, but it, it, bro, it, this fit right here, omg.eddielee, okay? <laughs> My boy went platinum, okay? Fuck that, like, bro. I don't think y'all niggas understand how hard this nigga was stepping in the all platinum right here. Let me get y'all the bit. Look at this. Holy shit, son. Holy shit, son. He got the platinum silver plant pants with the platinum silver jacket with the with the goddamn T with the silver chain with the goddamn C O dot J P Air Jordan. What? Oh my god. Goodness, son. Oh my goodness. And then the caption say, Son came out. Nigga, yeah, you did come out, nigga, because you stepping, son. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I oh my goodness. First thing that popped in my head was at the uh at that J. Cole smile uh J. Cole song uh where he do the little skit where he's like, niggas even doing platinum, niggas ain't even doing platinum again. Boy, I'm about to kill these niggas. Oh shit. Eddie, Eddie boy. Eddie. Please chill out, boy. Please chill out, boy. Cause you, you're stepping too hard, but you're breaking niggas' necks, boy. Like that platinum on platinum, son. On platinum, son. You you killed it, bro. I I, I ain't I ain't even I I gotta call it like I see it, cause son, you're stepping. You're stepping habitually, like your lid. I know your feet hurt. I know your feet hurt, nigga. I know your feet hurt, nigga. I know they hurt. Oh my goodness. And after that, we got Eddie Homeboy Ezra. But uh, in the streets, we know him as easy because it, it, this shit too easy for my dog, bro. Look, look at this one right here. Do you see my dog? Firstly, a lot of y'all going to be like, oh, what, what's so special about the fit? But, let me tell y'all something, bro. Do y'all see that vintage hat and that vintage fucking shirt? Oh, my fucking goodness, nigga. Your daddy ain't even got that fucking shirt in his closet, nigga. That shit, it. <sighs> that shit is immaculate, my nigga. That, that, and then he put it on with the fucking flannel, my nigga. Look, just look at this man. Look at how he dripping, son, with the light jewelry touch on it. What, but the cargo pants, it. I ain't even got down to the feet yet. Like, bro. I know this nigga feet hurt, bro, the way he's stepping right now. I know this nigga feet hurt. These two niggas been stepping for a minute now. They been stepping for a minute now. They live in stepping, okay? What they doing? Oh, my God. Eddie with the platinum on platinum on platinum. And then you got easy coming out here with, with, the, with the trucker cap. With the flannel, the very rare vintage racing shirt, and the, and then the ones, bro, and then the ones. I'm sick. I couldn't get my hands on them ones. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm sick. But the way he just put this outfit together, I ain't even sick no more. 
And then do you see the smile on my dog face? It's just so beautiful, son. I don't think you understand, son. My dog is stepping right there. That is what I call habitually stepping. Oh. God damn. I mean, it was, but fuck stepping. These boys was marching. Marching. What? What did you talk? <laughs> but if you say they ain't stepping, you just hating right now, bro. If you just, if you say that they ain't stepping, send in your, send in your outfit. Because I call it how I see it. I call it how I see it. And if your fit hard, it's going to be on here. If that fit is hard as shit, it'll be on here. Them fits was hard as shit to me. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. They may be my boys, but them fits is hard as shit to me. The platinum on platinum on platinum. Oh, my goodness. And then the very rare trucker hat with the racing shirt with the cozy flannel and cargo pants. And them beautiful ones. Oh, my gosh. With the UNC blue on the back and the Chicago red on the front. I call them the Crips meet the fucking bloods, nigga. Oh, my God. Well, I ain't even no game banger, nigga. I ain't no game banger. Please don't let nobody think I'm a gang banger. Fuck no, I ain't no gang banger. I ain't built like that. But damn, these niggas was stepping. Oh my, my badge. Oh my bad. Because when I get into fashion, boy, that shit right there, it that that shit is beautiful, bro. If you don't think they fits was that hard, bro, send in your fits. Because like I said, I call it just how I fucking see it. So next up, um, is our segment. A little black magic, you know what I'm saying? And with the segment um a little black magic, I highlight a black owned business or black owned um uh, or a black owned artist or a black artist, um a black community, somebody black doing great things in their community, you know what I'm saying? And I'ma highlight Eddie and Ezra. These boys at the age that we at, some of us wasn't thinking correctly i believe it was like two or three years ago that they opened up the final lap shop up in um the landing before it was torn down bro they have an excellent vintage store bro an excellent vintage store out there on uh what is that beach boulevard if i'm not mistaken i'll give y'all the exact uh address here in a second but bro they bro what they do bro they bringing all this rare shit to the city and giving people an opportunity to buy it. You know what I mean? And I done bought hella shit from they store too. Like them um, 2015 Hair 7s that's even more beat up than what. Bro, when I got them from them, they was probably about an 8 out of 10. I can't even cap. They was about an 8 out of 10. And I got that in a deal of a um, $25 stuff a bag. They literally gave you a shopping bag and whatever you could fit in the bag, all of it was $25. All of it was $25. How many stores you know throwing out deals like that? They 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 give you um I think they did another sale where anything on the rack was like it was like hella marked off, bro. And it was heat on the rack, bro. You know what I'm saying? These, these boys bringing hella drips out to the city. And I don't think a lot of people understand how much it takes to run a damn small business. Because this, bro, it, it takes a fucking lot, bro. It, it takes a fucking lot, bro. Like, bro, and for what they doing at such a young age, bro, I'm proud of them boys, bro. They... They they step correctly in their fashion. They step correctly in their business. And oh 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 shit! I, hold hold on, I'm being disrespectful. My bad. And they homeboy Chuck be helping them out too. Now you shout out to my homeboy Chuck. He done looked out hella times for me too. I, oh my, hold, my bad Chuck. My, please 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 don't crucify me, Chuck. My bad. But them three boys right there with that business right there, bro. They they eating, and I'm proud of them. If you hating on them, ask them niggas how they did it then. Stop hating and ask them niggas how they did it then. Because what what they did, they just grinded. They kept on grinding. I mean, when they were first selling, uh, they was just selling it like on their Instagrams and shit. They ain't had no storefront at first. The reason why they doing so great is because they weren't afraid to fail. Them three boys said, you know what? Look, here's what we finna do. 
And they said, by no, by no fucking way are we going to fail, but we're going to keep pushing forward and keep doing what we're doing till we, till we get home. Now them boys hiring people to work for them because they, you don't think them niggas was scared? I'm sure them niggas was scared to put up all that money uh for the storefront. I'm sure them niggas was scared to put all the, up all that money for them clothes, nigga. But they went ahead and did it anyways. I'm proud of them boys. They, bro, they got a they got a beautiful business over there, bro. They got hella shoes for you. They got SBs. They got Jordans. They got Adidas. They got Reeboks. They got Nikes. They got jerseys. They got coats. They got sweaters. They got shirts. They got pants. They got shorts. They got what you need up in there. If you're looking for some vintage and some drip, nigga, go ahead. Go buy Final Lap Shop, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Is you silly, my nigga? It, bro. Bro, them boys, I'm, I'm proud of them boys, man. Go ahead, head by the Final Lap Shop. Man, you know what I'm saying? And definitely get them boys to check out, man. The Final Lap Shop is located in Jacksonville, Florida on, what is that? Beach Boulevard, 121041 one Beach Boulevard, Jacksonville, Florida. You know what I'm saying? And they open Tuesday through Sunday, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And they buy, sell, and trade any clothing. Clothing, shoes, anything. What what they got what you need out there, bro. Go on here, go check them out, bro. Please. They deserve it. I'm I'm bro. They they some habitual steppers who deserve it. I'm proud of y'all boys. Keep doing what y'all doing, man. Cause cause y'all y'all getting real recognition. If don't nobody else recognize nigga, I recognize y'all and I'ma hype y'all niggas up. Keep pushing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Bro, that that look like it does it for our uh second episode. I, I'm so glad if you came back. If you didn't, fuck you. Yeah. But I hope you do come back eventually. Um, I I'm, I'm bro. Go ahead, like, subscribe. You know what I'm saying. And um, for our ant fact, um, our ant question, cause I'm gonna do this at the end of every single episode. I'm going to give y'all a question. Whoever answered it first in my DMs, boom, that's whoever gets it. You know what I'm saying? So, hmm, let me give y'all a good question. How much more times of their weight can an ant carry? So, like, can an ant carry two times their weight? Can an, airy, can an ant carry... A hundred times their weight, you know what I'm saying? How much, like, times their body weight can an ant carry? And whoever answers that question, mm, what, what will we do? What will we do? What will we do? Hmm. I'll give you an Amazon gift card. I got a $10 Amazon gift card for you. So go ahead, like, subscribe to the page. I'll fuck with you. Hey, back of your roll, corner your roll. I'm out this bitch. Peace. Love y'all.